What's going on everybody? Kyle here from Softwash TV. I hope you guys are doing great. Wanted to jump on here today and we're going to talk a little bit about equipment. I try to give you guys what you like whenever it comes to topics and I've been getting a lot of questions lately about the AR45. A lot of people call it the gas roof pump because primarily people use them for roofs. Others call it a gas powered soft wash system. I have had it on my rig for two years. So I want to go over my review, honest and transparent. Let's talk about it. All right, before we get to the actual review, let's take a second just to talk about why I decided to get a gas roof pump or an AR45. And this goes for the Comet P42. Both are gas systems with about the same capabilities. I'm sure everybody knows what a 12 volt is. Great system. I think it's still great for most people in most situations, but the gas roof pump gave me the ability to shoot higher, have more volume. It was a great tool for rinsing as well. And whenever it came to these larger roofs I was doing, larger construction projects, it made my life a lot easier. And it gave me peace of mind that I wouldn't be on the job site on a windy day struggling. So it did make my life easier easy in that regard and that was the big appeal and the big reason why i decided to go with a gas system i use my dedicated soft wash system almost every day normally the most use comes from pre and post treating concrete i do a lot of large residential homes with all types of concrete and stones and bricks so it's really nice to have a soft wash system that was fast and efficient and then i use it for roofs so when it comes to day in and day out house washing, I still rely primarily on my pressure washer and downstream. And I think that's the most efficient way. I love downstreaming, but on those houses where you need a hot mix, it's nice to have that AR45. From a price standpoint, it wasn't that bad. It was a lot more than a 12 volt system because I had to pay for the actual power plant, the engine. So an electric start AR45 or a Comet P40, both similar systems probably run anywhere from 2,000 to 2,500 bucks. And whenever you look at the amount of jobs that you could do and the scale of the jobs, I think it's pretty easy to justify that expense, or at least it was for me. This is one of my favorite jobs. It's a really nice home in Raleigh. I've used this job before for getting great footage. Some of my best before and after photos came from this property. So this is a good one right here. All right, now let's talk about my experience over two years using this machine and what I think about it now. What's up, everybody? Before we continue, just a friendly reminder, make sure you check out Softwash TV Pro, the exterior cleaning industry's answer to the need for quality pressure washing and soft washing training. Not only will you learn about safety, but we will teach you how to wash. Learn from a pro the ins and outs of house washing, concrete washing, and low pressure roof cleaning. We teach wash techniques and preventative measures for property protection. Softwash TV Pro will educate you about industry equipment and all of the chemicals used during daily operations. Learn marketing strategies from a successful pressure washing company and take advantage of numerous resources that will help you start and grow a pressure washing company. Thanks for watching. Now back to the video. All right, guys, I'm in the shop with the old gas roof pump, y'all. The old trusted gas roof pump. So. I posted my first video with this soft wash system in July of 2022. So that's approximately, what is that, 18, 20 months ago. I actually had the machine before that video. So I think it's safe to say two year review. Now there's been a lot of footage online, a lot of posts in Facebook groups where a lot of people have issues with gas systems. Unfortunately, I hate to see that where there's a lot of things leaking or it's just completely spewing water out and it looks bad, guys. Unfortunately, a lot of that is due in part to the machines being hooked up incorrectly. That's why I always recommend getting your builds done by professionals. And then the other part is user or operator error. They're not being ran at the right pressure and they're being ran wrong. So let's talk about my machine, how I run mine and how I've gotten two years, guys, two years with zero issues. 
Guys, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. We'll kind of, I'll kind of give you the down and dirty on how I run my machine. And I think that has a lot to do with the longevity of my equipment. But first and foremost would be the pressure, guys. There's a gauge right here. You can see the red. Obviously, red is bad. You could adjust your pressure right here, regulate it by turning this knob. Clockwise would be turning your pressure up. Counterclockwise would be reducing pressure. And it's really important, like I said, don't be redlining this thing. This ain't a Dodge Demon, a stolen Dodge Demon at the at the car meet or the takeover. You don't want to blow this thing up. So when I'm on the gun, guys, when I'm on the gun, I want my pressure on the gauge to be no more than 180. I keep it lower than that, but no more than 180. And then you're going to have a rise in pressure whenever you're off the gun and it's just sitting there. I like to keep it off the gun no more than 240 or 245. When it comes to starting and stopping your gas-powered soft wash system, this is the cardinal sin right here, guys. Do not start your system and don't stop it when you're not on the gun. You want to be on the gun, meaning you have the trigger pulled whenever you're starting your machine and you're stopping it. What happens is if you just have your gun on the ground and I go to start this machine, there's going to be a spike in pressure. And the same thing happens when you turn the machine off. There's going to be a rise in pressure. And a lot of times, think about how many times you start your machine in a day. Start and stop your machine all the time. So if you have that constant spike in pressure, the first thing that's going to fail is the diaphragm, guys. You're going to, you're going to damage the diaphragm. And that's where a lot of those leaky videos that you see come from. People not starting and stopping the machine correctly with the trigger pulled. It comes to all of your hoses. Obviously, I have my stuff plumbed to a remote uh, blend manifold on the other side of the truck but at the pump itself you just want to ensure that all of your hose clamps are tight the barb that comes on the bypass side of this system was pretty cheap and small so on mine you could see i removed the barb that came with it i put a large check valve on here where i removed the internals of this check valve then i just threaded in a larger barb there and i put a hose clamp right here and made sure everything is snug i have in two years i've only had to tighten these clamps maybe once or twice guys so i don't have leaks from any of this everything's buttoned down real good all right next up guys naturally since this is a motor driven machine it does vibrate a lot so on the skids you will have these rubber feet and depending on who you get your gas system from, there may be rubber feet installed on these brackets below the pump, and uh, that would greatly reduce the amount of vibration to your pump. And common sense would tell you that you would probably get more runtime, more longevity out of it with less vibration. Mine didn't come with it, and I never had the need to install them because I haven't had any issues yet, guys. All right, let's circle back to this bypass before I forget. We just talked about it a minute ago. Basically what this does, guys, think of it as the radiator for your system. So your bypass loop, and a lot of guys don't have a long enough loop, but it's working as a radiator to cool your pump. A good rule of thumb is have a minimum of 25 feet. So 25 to 30 feet, you'll be good, and that's going to keep your pump cool. But that does not mean that you could lay off your gun for extended periods of time it's not built like that so if you set your gun down for a couple minutes it's fine but that doesn't mean you can walk away from it and just leave it running unfortunately i know that's what leads to a lot of people's issues where everything's leaking and water's going everywhere so it's just user area error in a lot of cases all right guys let's summarize this video kind of wrap it up like i said two years running strong with this using this almost every day i do put hot mix through it almost every day no issues, but I do a lot of things the correct way. After every time I use this, I spend five to 10 minutes flushing it out, rinsing with it with cool, clean water. That way I get all of that corrosive stuff out of the pump. I'm very cognizant about when I start and stop the machine, I make sure I'm on the trigger. That way we don't have that spike in pressure. And then, I, like I said before, I regulate the pressure. I make sure that I'm in that threshold, um, like I said, on the gun, I don't like to be no more than 180. Whenever I'm off the gun or off the trigger, no higher than 240, 245. And that's really kept it to where this thing's been super reliable with me. I don't know if I'm just lucky, but two years is really good because I, I love 12 volt systems, electric systems, but I was probably getting just a couple or a few months out of them and I'd have to toss them away. They're consumable and throw another one on. So I've gotten my money out of this thing. Um, just because I had great luck with it, someone else might not have luck with it. And that goes with any system. So I talked about user error. 
people probably had issues with this just like any system and they did everything right guys so i also i'm cognizant about the usage of this like i said i primarily use this for pre and post treating concrete and doing roofs if i was using this day in day out for house washing roofs and driveways i don't know if i would have got two years out of it as heavy as i run it so um, that's why I really rely on my downstreaming. I think it's efficient. That's my favorite thing to wash houses. I wash my houses like that and then use this only when I have to. And I love it. I got a backup pump. I've never had to break it out. All right, guys. So that's my review of the old faithful, the old gas roof pump, the old gas powered soft to wash sy system, guys. Um, the only thing I really don't like about it, which is easy to fix, is this small fuel cell right here. I should have had it hooked up to my aluminum fuel cell, but I have a race jug and I just fill it up. So it's not a big deal, guys. Um, other than that, will I continue to use it? Absolutely. I got a backup pump. So hell, if I got two years out of this one, hopefully it keeps going. Hopefully I get two years out of another one. So like I said, I'm real cognizant about how I use it. I do everything right. Um, there's other options guys. If you don't want gas, there are other options in the industry. I saw a gas system coming out. There's some cool systems coming out guys. Uh, I love seeing progression in evolution in this industry. There's a gas system coming out with a clutch on it, which would fix the problem about like have, being able to stay off of the trigger for extended amounts of time. It has great performance. There are some electric pumps that finally, they look very promising. Good performance, it looks like with them. Um, what's another one? The X pump. I've been looking at the, who makes the X pump? Is that Pump Tech? That thing looks sweet too, guys. And I've seen people running them for a couple years with zero issues. So all types of options out there. I wanted to give y'all a honest and a transparent review of my system and how I operate it. Guys, as always, I appreciate y'all's support. Like you guys are just as much of a journey or a part of my journey as I am for y'all. I appreciate y'all support. I got so much positive feedback from a video I posted a couple days ago where it was like six things to do to make more money or six problems to correct to make more money in your business. And I think people really enjoy my content when I raw dog it, whenever I get emotional because I'm passionate about pressure washing. Like this is my life, guys. I'm not, I'm not some hack in this industry. Like I live this every day i'm on the wash truck so i get passionate about self-development and creating the best version of yourself because physical fitness your brain reading books all of that stuff is going to correlate to the amount of money you make and how happy you are in life so i get passionate guys so uh yeah sometimes i do cuss i'll, I'll say that my mom called me she's like boy you were hyped up and i'll tell my mom the same thing i told you guys i don't care if i cuss because I'll make you guys a promise if you continue to watch my channel, a promise I won't break because I don't break my word for nobody. I will never, ever trade my authenticity for approval, guys. So I'm going to talk to you the same way I talk to my boys, my best friends. I'm going to freaking hook you guys up with knowledge. And I'm not going to hold back because some of you guys don't have people that love you enough in life to give you hard truths. If you don't like vulgar words or bad language, Take your goody two-shoes ass off my channel and don't worry about what we're talking about over here because we get after it over here. I'll get with you. Peace.